Hey everybody, this is Roger and Wendy with the Upstate Home Team here at Keller Williams. And today we're going to answer the question, what happens if my property comes in below the contract price on the appraisal? So guys, we are outside today in sunny South Carolina and it is a little warm. And so we're going to talk to you today about what happens if the price comes in a little low on the contract price? There are actually four remedies that we're going to discuss uh, in ways to kind of help you think about and overcome this issue if it presents itself. In a great situation, the property comes in at the contract price and everybody is happy. Uh, the appraisal is ordered through the lender. It's for their purposes and the lender is going to go out and determine what is the best uh, comparable sales that are the closest location and uh, are going to be in the most recent sales that can affect the value of the home based on today's market. Now, sometimes it comes in a little low, and Wendy's gonna talk about some ways that we can help to remedy that. Right, so one of those is the buyer can increase their down payment. Um, in order for that to happen, the buyer has to have you know cash available or get a gift to cover the necessary amount. Uh, another way is the seller can reduce the contract price to the appraised value. Mm -hmm. um, it's not what the sellers really wanna do, but most often, that's the way to keep it alive. Yeah, a third option is, is a sort of a combination of those two, right? So they can renegotiate the contract price. That's going to be more in line with what the seller is willing to reduce to and what the buyer is willing and able to bring in terms of additional funds if they have funds available. Uh, a fourth option is going to be pretty rare, and that is that the seller provide a loan, if you will, through a form of seller financing for the shortfall between the appraisal and the contract price. And so that's going to be our four options there uh, in terms of what happens. What happens, though, if none of those four work? No one can agree on the four. If that happens, then the contract is generally canceled and the property is relisted for a new buyer. Right. And lastly, you should know that an appraisal report can be challenged. Yeah. Um, it's very rare that an appraiser is going to look at our comps and change their report. Uh, it's about a 10% chance, but we can always try. Yeah, it's always worth a try if someone feels like it's going to be that way. It could be that it's going to delay the closing a bit, so that's another consideration. But we'd have to talk about all those options once something like that happens. Now, here's the good news. The good news is, according to Fannie Mae statistics, low appraisals only occur about 8% of the time. A lot of factors influence that, such as market conditions, time of uh, the, the, the economy that's going on, the time of the a year from a standpoint of when sales are happening and so on. So they can have a lot of factors involved with this. What I'd want you to do is contact us if you have a question about your home's value in today's market. Do not rely on Zillow or some other third-party site to tell you what your home is worth. Um, those are uh, those kind of analogies and systems that they use don't really come up with a plan that really best demonstrates what your home's value is. So contact us at area code 864-735-7653 or by the web at www.upstatehometeamsc.com. We're here to help in whatever way we can. We really appreciate you watching our video as always. I'm Roger, this is Wendy, and we look forward to catching up with you again soon. Have a great day. Bye guys.